Tracy Longstra. Back in the day, I played drums for a band called the Rhythm Rockers. And it was our good fortune during the glory days of surf music to be the house band at the legendary Rendezvous Ballroom in Balboa. There it is, the same ocean, the same pier, and who knows, maybe even some of the same sand. Actually, the rendezvous was built way before my time, back in the 40s, by Stan Kenton, who was a very successful big band leader. Friends of mine from the early 60s told me their parents met and fell in love with the rendezvous in the 40s. So when I say this place had a vibe, as you can see from looking across the parking lot, picture it full of cars all the way into the sand. This little wall wasn't here. Those shingled condos are exactly where the rendezvous ballroom was. But before the place burned to the ground in the late 60s, it was destined to have a second heyday. The surf craze hit in 1961, and every weekend that summer, the place was packed with surfers who came from miles around to hear Dick Dale and the Deltones play at the rendezvous. The original name of our band was The Letterman, but when some other guys started having hits with that name, we changed our name to The Rhythm Rockers. We took over the rendezvous in early 62 after Dick Dale went out on the road to promote Mr. Peppermint Man. It was a chance in a lifetime and we rocked that place just like the legendary performers before us. What a thrill that was, definitely one of the great times. There I was, just 16 years old playing for thousands of people, 20 feet in the air on a stage that had this drum riser and a half shell dome behind it that made everything sound so fat. Across from the stage were some 500 or more on the dance floor, all doing the surfer stomp on that hardwood floor. What a sound that was, almost scary. It was so much fun. In case you're wondering, I'm still drumming. And I'm still surfing. 